Hi guys, my name is Jay Ruger. Welcome to my channel. Welcome back to my channel and welcome to another episode of I spent way too much money on makeup and now I have to justify the purchases. Today I bought like just I just keep buying makeup. I don't know why. And so we're just gonna be testing out some products, some new products I got, some stuff like that, and here to be fun for Luna Rosa here. Hello. To she hasn't been on the channel in a minute, and so we thought it'd be fun if she tested out the products too, so you guys can see what a makeup artist thinks about it, but somebody who's not a makeup artist also thinks about the products. She's just a normal person who does makeup for yeah. work. Before we get into this video, if you guys could pound that like button, then hit the subscribe button, subscribe to my channel. I upload once a fucking week, sometime during the week. I don't fucking know when, but it's sometime during the week, usually on Fridays. Yeah. Whenever. Pick, we just picked these up. You guys have seen this one probably on Instagram. I've seen, I used this one in an Instagram video before, but I literally just picked this up yesterday. It's in the same line. Um, they're just anti-acne solution. These smell so good. What the heck? What? You do it different than me, but what I just do, if I just pour it into my hand, like, like this, and I just, I just smooth it onto the face like that. I put mine on um, a beauty blender or cotton ball, and I dab. Whew, gotta have some drinks. I feel like we should start Siding while we're drinking. Wine. <laughs> no. <laughs> I don't know that I need. Ah! Right now. Just, just a little bit. Maybe just a tad. Oh, it's so thin. Oh yeah, this stuff is great. Um. So you used it already. I oh, oh yeah. So I use this. Um, oh, it's so smooth. Because um, if you have acne prone skin, or if you have oily skin, um, but it also happens to be the combination of kind of sensitive or combination skin. Um, this stuff is great because it is non-commodogenic. Yeah, so this has salicylic acid in it also that helps um, fight the acne. Um, but what I liked about it is um, previous like sensitive skin moisturizers actually burned my skin and this stuff doesn't. Um, it's fantastic. Like it soaks into the skin like really nicely. It doesn't like sit on top of the skin. No. That is nice. It, it does feel really, really nice though. It's like my skin feels like really smooth right now. Yeah. I like that a lot. It moisturizes almost like skin oil. Yeah, a little bit. Mm -hmm. A little bit. But it's not like oily. It's not my skin feels like oily mm -hmm. like the oils do. Yeah, I love this stuff. Sounds like a <laughs> sounds like a folk band name. One, One long, long beard hair. hair. <laughs> This, this week, is my new indie band. This week with the Waffle Stompers. With the Waffle Stompers. Are they still a band? I don't know. Um, um, they're kind of fantastic and I don't know if they're still For some reason I've been doing this where I'll take this. It's like a First. yellow. Yeah. A lot of people see it in my videos and they're like, why do you oh, put wait. on a, a layer of foundation first? I don't know. I don't know. I just really like it. Um, I'm looking for primer. I have a whole one. Finn, just pick one. Do you have any illuminating in here? I'm feeling extra. Pop that right there. Uh -huh. Stuff is fun. It has some glitter in it. If you want to see my thoughts about it, you could head on over to my e.l.f. primer review. I'll link it down below. I hate the flower foundation. I really do. I hate it. Oh, really? It's awful. Oh, God. It's the worst foundation I've ever used in my life. It's an amazing color corrector. But for me, I'm like, it's the freaking weekend, and I feel like being glittery, so... <laughs> Yeah, this is the NYX Total Control. It's done by Drops. And I'm actually gonna use this because I think this is the best thing for this kind of product because it's got like a little divot in the center. See? It's not. This has the coverage of soup. Yeah, it's um sheer. It is sheer coverage. Ooh, this is less coverage than the Wet n Wild. Yeah, it's really, really sheer. Jesus, that went like no distance at all. Uh huh. What the heck? 
I'm not looking for a full coverage though, so like for me it's great. And it is buildable. Is it? <laughs> Takes a lot to build, but it's possible. Oh god. Um, but if you are looking for a full coverage look, it is maybe not your best option. I hate that. I hate that a lot. I'm gonna dip into the wet and wild, which is this shit right here. I'm gonna dip into that. Oh god, I don't like that at all. I like it because I don't like the feeling of foundation on my face. I don't mind the feeling of foundation. Well, Mr. Crywon. <laughs> right. Everybody has their preferences. Um, if I'm putting foundation on, it better cover my tax records like Donald Trump. Do you want to try my new concealer? Okay. It's a true match. Mm -hmm. My L'Oreal. Mm -hmm. Do you like it? I don't know how I feel about it yet. Okay. I can fuck with it. Right, like I feel like that's a really, that's like- It's got decent coverage. For me, it, no, it has great coverage. Yeah. Um, For me, it's a bit dark, so I'm not sure how I feel about it. And that's the lightest shade it comes in. Oh. Yeah, that's the lightest shade it comes in. And I'm like, Oh, I nearly concealed my eyebrows just then. Mm. <laughs> I'm not sure I fucks with it because it's like. <laughs> I just feel like I don't use enough products, even though I feel like I do my makeup every day. I just. Every day. You don't really need them. Well, thanks, Ben. Right. <laughs> what? Take two. Should I pause while you catch up? No, go ahead. I can catch up. Okay. You're much. That's a lie. You. <laughs> I was gonna say that you're much faster than me. I can be fast. It's okay. I didn't like that NYX foundation anyway. It was terrible. Which is terrible. Sad because I really like NYX foundation. It's it's really really thin. Um, I feel like if you're the kind of person that wears liquid foundation every day. It's I hate just. Way it's fast to do makeup. It's just not. This is what it was like when I was doing Eddie's makeup, uh, for that one photo shoot. Oh yeah, that was a day. I was like, Ugh. I know. I remember coming in. Oh great, because you had to get my. We decided that we were gonna work and then go to a con. Remember that? That was the day of Nova yeah. Con. So, in between um, doing uh, the models, you were like, "Come in here, let me pin your head." Oh yeah, because I was yeah. uh, getting you ready for a wig. Yeah, exactly. And then we didn't even wind up um, cosplaying that day because we didn't get there early enough. Yeah, we got there so late that we just hung out with our friends instead. I mean, it was fun to run around um, looking like a crazy person. But... Oh God, yeah, we looked wild. Oh, I didn't look so bad because it, ju it just looked like I had a boy cut because I had no hair and I had a hat on. I looked crazy. I had half a face of makeup on. Did you? Yeah, I, I didn't finish my makeup. And when we got there, like we were just like, fuck it. <laughs> My face looks a little pale. Yeah. You, you, you look a little pale. It's okay, I'll bronze it. <laughs> oh! <laughs> I just... I just remembered how much setting powder you owed. Yeah, pick one! Do you want the... Do you want uh, the... You used Maybelline, did you? I have... Do you I have, have my one. shade? I have... Yeah. Which is a stupid thing to say because my shade's in the other room. And then... <laughs> I also have these two. This one's got glitter in it. <laughs> Which one I'm picking? Is it too much? I don't care. <laughs> I'll go back and contour later. I haven't decided what I'm doing for the face. Yeah. So what we're going to be doing with our eyeshadow today is we're going to be digging into the Atlantis palette by Face Candy. It looks like this. It's so pretty. It's got a very cute mirror here. Nobody look at the mirror. Um, and these are gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous shades. Shades. Shades! You can find them swatched on my Instagram where it's all nice, pretty clear lines. It's very easy to see. I have to put something on my cheeks. I look crazy. You do. Um, is Marcy sitting in the She's in the bed. Do you not do your eyebrows before you do your eyeshadow? I used to, but I stopped doing it. Really? I stopped doing it that way. Into a shape. Okay, this is so much better. This is so much more tolerable. Holy shit. Whew! I look so much less nuts. <sighs> Drink to that. Just all that, like, white. So why did you stop doing your, um, 
I rose first. So I found that if I, um, actually I'll do my notes afterwards because I don't know what I'm doing. Um, I found that when I do my eyeshadow, mm -hmm. I can get a much prettier blend uh, onto the eyeshadow uh -huh. without worrying about messing up my eyebrows uh -huh. or worrying about covering up my brows with any of the eyeshadow powders. So I do my eyeshadows and then I go back and do my eyebrows because I can see my eyebrows. It's not like I'm putting on a brand new eyebrow like when I was a drag. Uh -huh. I'm gonna dig into white cap first and just use this as a wash. Look at that, right on the edge of that. That just totally, one little like dip just totally coated the brush. There's something that's so right about doing eyeshadow with unicorn brushes. No? Yeah, it makes me feel very cool. I'm gonna go in with Abyss next. I'm gonna use that, and I'm gonna run that through the entire crease. Like, look, it just coats the brush. You're, you're, you're like, I would I'm do- I'm like, I would do that! That's because I taught you how to do eyeshadow. That's hilarious. No, it's not, it makes sense! <laughs> Did you just dip into Oceanic? Yeah. So pretty. Um. And it's funny because I'm like, oh my god, it's color. I don't know what I'm doing. Same thing. Oh yeah, you've never done like color I don't, eyeshadow. I don't do color eyeshadow. I'm like, make it black. <laughs> also, this is like kind of a funny experience because um, for me, when we were in um, marching band together, that's it was really the only time I ever did blue eyeshadow, right? No one ever does blue eyeshadow. Because it's just pain. Um, well, it's just like, so I had the same like Maybelline color your eyelid by number blue palette of eyeshadow for two years, right? Um, and so every time I see blue eyeshadow, I'm like, and that one goes here, and this one goes here. So like seeing an entire palette of blue, I'm like, override old way of doing things, you know? Cause we had to do our makeup a certain way. I mean, you can do it that way, doesn't matter. I don't think whatever that... way that makes you feel pretty. Well, that's yeah. how that's how you do makeup. That's how you do eyeshadow. Is that like it's whatever makes you feel super pretty. Right. I'm gonna do a cut crease and I'm gonna stick one of these probably Tidal because mm -hmm. it's so bright. I'm probably gonna do a cut crease using um or a half cut crease probably using using that and then packing it on packing Tidal onto the concealer. Oh, okay. Most of these are glitter colors. I just noticed that they're half matte, half glitter. Yeah, that is I... super shimmery. Wow, that's cool. I'm gonna take Stormy Waters, which is a very dark green color. I'm just gonna like put that on the lower lash line. It just got into my eyeball. How's the how's the pain factor? It doesn't. It didn't hurt. Oh good. It just like there's like green on my eyeball right now. I'm gonna take my concealer in the color in whatever the one we we're just using in the color of whatever. In the color of. <laughs> That's how I did my last tutorial. I was like, in the color, whatever. I saw you looked at me, you were so grumpy in the last tutorial. I was a little drunk and tired. Uh, yeah. But everyone's like, wow, that was so informative. I was like, yeah, it's cause I was grumpy. I wasn't trying to be entertaining. <laughs> You're like, I wasn't trying to fluff it up at all. Yeah. This is what we're doing, hoes. Yeah. <laughs> what? See this? Bitch, what the heck? <laughs> I was like, am I gonna do glam or am I gonna do kawaii? But then I was like, like after looking at my eyes, I'm like, I'm totally gonna do glam. So I'm just gonna go ahead and contour real quick. I feel like I don't have the option of whether or not I'm doing kawaii. Oh, there's the, like- You should totally try kawaii. How do you do that? Because I Lots feel like that's just my face. It's just like- <laughs> No, 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 no. Like the kawaii look. Like, Oh, you mean Lots like the specifically the blush? Yeah, color. it's so cute. Try it with this. Oh, I love this one. I might steal this from you. It's really nice. This is so pretty. Today we're drinking, you know. Today we're drinking alcohol. So you don't contour at all for your foil? Um, for the pride one I did. But that's because it was so many colors. But for like a normal like pink one, mm -mm. you just like <sighs> yeah, because it's so much pink. I, don't know. I feel so fucking glam in the eye. I actually really like this already, and it's barely even started. I know. I feel like you would really like the quiet. Because I'm a little lolly goth. I'm gonna dive into my eyebrows because it takes me a little bit longer. I'm gonna be using the Forever Magic Cosmetics. Oh, sorry. There we go. Forever Magic Cosmetics. Um, if you want to use this product, if you like the way this looks on my eyes, if you want to try it out for yourself, I highly recommend it. You can follow the affiliate link down below. I get a kickback for that if you follow that. Oh, it's so cute. Aww. 
Huh. And like, it's funny, it's funny trying out makeup looks like this because you feel like, oh, if I try this, I'm gonna look stupid. Uh -huh. And then you try it and you're like, oh, I feel cute. <laughs> half to get ready with me and half I teach Luna how to do makeup, <laughs> right? I'm not You're a quick learner. I am a quick learner. <laughs> For some reason, you always look like my va my vampire boyfriend um, in a good way. And I'm just sitting over here like, hi. <laughs> oh, fierce. You want some? Yeah. It's so funny, it was like, I put on my, um, my eyeshadow, and I was like, needs more contour. Puts on eyebrows, needs more contour. This is why, I, this is why I didn't do my face first. Cause you always wanna have a little more. Cause I kind of like, started, I've changed a lot of the way I do a lot of things. Yeah. It gives you more options in the long run. It's one of those things where I love my eyeshadow so much, I'm like, do I need a fat wing? I don't think I do because of the Kawaii look, I'm kind of like a much thinner because normally I like to do like something. Oh, do you want to put freckles on? That would be so- I've never had freckles. Freckles is not a thing that I have. Next we're going to be using this. It is the Diamond Light Highlighting Illuminator Diamond Fire Highlighter. What the heck? It comes in like the most luxurious packaging ever. Ugh. Stunning. It comes in like, what the heck? Like, what like, the bitch, heck? what the heck? Bitch, I'm about to flip a shit. Well, that's the thing is like, I'll be like, fucking goddamn it, what the heck? I don't. <laughs> I, I don't think, know why I do that. I think that's I think that's a um, a result of being raised conservative or, or like really religious. In which um, if you're a part of like a religious group that was against cursing, as I do the same thing, I'm like, well, darn it all the fuck! Like, oh, darn it all the fuck! <laughs> like, it's not as bright as the Unsuccessful Beverly Hills Moon Child, but it is it's still bright. It's really pretty. Yeah, it's still really pretty. Well, I think you also think it doesn't look as bright because the Anastasia Beverly Hills palette has that blue shimmer in it. Yeah. The Moonchild palette, yeah. right? Um, so it's not going to be as bright because this is just like white holographic. I just remember when highlighter first came out, like I hadn't, I hadn't been excited by a makeup trend in a very long time. And then you told me, you came to me one day and I'm like, there's this new thing called highlighter and it's just like body glitter, but better. <laughs> and I said, sign me up. I have a code oh, for I these. I haven't tried those yet. Exactly, that's why I picked them. These are, I have a code for these. I don't get any money for them if you go and order them, but I have a code for them. It's J-A-Y-Y-R-E-G-E-R, -E -E just my name, Jay Ruger. Mm-hmm, right? It's so smooth and creamy. Yeah. Loki, you want to contour even more now because I put on a dark lip. Uh huh. <laughs> Ugh. Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna do it. Let's just do it. Let's just go for it. You know, like really just go in. I do think that the peach look was the uh, the better of the choices, but that's what I was saying. I was like, I thought I, I liked it a lot, but you just can't. You can't resist can't, the purple I lip. I can't resist the purple lip. <laughs> but I do think the peach was the better choice with this look. I thought so too. Yeah. Alright guys, if you guys like this video, make sure you like, comment, share, and subscribe. Leave a negative comment down below. <laughs> and we'll laugh at it! <laughs> and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye!